All right, here we are, part three, where we left off last time. We got a very nice 6X stack in the $25, $5 PKO, past registration, nearing the money. On the second table, we have the $5, 500 guarantee. We have a little over a double up there. On the third screen... We have the $2 knockout, nothing going our way there so far. And the final screen, the one we're on, we, is the freeze out monster stack. We're about halfway through registration and we got a 4X stack. So let's get it. We're gonna try and get some final table runs here. Our first big hand is gonna come out of the $25 buy-in ace jack off we just flat the raise instead of re-raising because of icm but then this guy is gonna like pretty much jam and everyone's gonna fold we're already getting the price without the bounty so we are probably gonna have to go with this it's a flip and we hit the ace let me get that All right, this next hand is in the $2 knockout. I don't love it, but you got to have some bluffs. Ace-3 suit is a good one because you can still hit a flush. And, oh, man, he's going to call. You can still hit a flush. And then, I mean, as long as you don't have aces, your ace or three is either, either one of those is usually good. Wow, we're actually ahead. We're going to double up this time, though, even with the bluff. Next hand is ace five suited in the five dollar buy-in. We're gonna try and bet raise early position with the suited ace again. Will it work again? I don't know. We're about to find out. A big lead. We are six away from the money. So you probably can play ICM in this spot. I'm trying to win though. However, it is a $5 buy-in, so he's probably going to snap with any King X. But hey, if we get that double up, it's almost surely going to be a final table run. Then I will not care about $8. Alright, we might have busted that one, but we hit the money in the $25 buy-in, which we're already at the final table. Yeah, basically this hand, I decided to peel one on the flop. Pre-flop's pretty obvious to call. They, I was going to plan on folding the turn, but he bet really small, so... Yeah. And we were ahead until the river. It's alright. We got a lot of poker to play. Alright, ace queen. Dude raises an absurd size, but we gotta go with this one. Too good. And we're gonna hit that nice river card. Let's get it. Alright, this time we got ace king. Same dude. He's gonna 5x it. We're just gonna re raise and he's gonna snap it off. Dominated. And we're gonna double up again. Can we keep this going? After like 30 minutes of mostly ICMing in the final table, we're finally going to pick up pocket queens. We're going to get a raise, and yeah, we're going to put it in there. 7-8 suited. Let me get your money. Ace-king raise. We're just going to start going crazy now that we're in the top five. We made it past some people. We're hands down the short stack. It's time to just go crazy. Let's just start picking up every pot. What's this guy gonna do? I mean, I'm probably, yeah, it's a call, right? You got a pair of eights, it's a call. Another all in. Let's go. 
Next hand coming out of the $20 freeze out monster sack is ace five off. In later position, we're gonna try and steal with our unsuited ace X hands, which is exactly what we did. We're gonna flop an open ender with the ace of hearts. Definitely gotta bet that flop. But we're gonna get a raise and I didn't think too long and I called considering you know there's a lot of good turns he's gonna bet again and I don't feel too good about my hand now but he bets about a third so yeah we're gonna call a lot of our stack has been put in the middle we did not hit not lucky not gonna pick up much at the final table until now Five bigs, ace jack off on the button, like, can't get much better. He has ace 10. The other short ish stack, too. Yo. Hopefully, he goes out and we can get to fourth. Will he get out? No. While away, we also hit the money in the $2 knockout, but we went all in with ace queen off. I actually would have preferred a min raise here, but he probably would have jammed with the jacks and I probably would have called anyway. So I guess I just saved a little bit of time. All in with sevens. Can we change our luck around? Can we win the better flip? Yes. The way more important flip. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and pick up this limp too, maybe. Try to squeeze this guy out now. Just gonna keep picking up the small ones. Hey, we are now in second, almost first in chips though. What's up? First in chips, let's go. Next up, we got a under the gun limp. We have queen jack suited. I'm trying to win. Definitely could have raised, but I guess I'm playing a little safe. Don't gotta play safe when you turn the nuts. And thank you for your chips. We're towards the end of this, so at this point, we're gonna watch every single hand now. Eight deuce suited. Yeah, not gonna play it. Hey, but we got an all in and a call. Not what you wanted to see. I would have rather have player one knocked. It's all right, we got ace king. Gotta raise it up. 17 gonna defend here. He sure will. And this is a spot where I could have bet, but I'm just going to check it. Got the king of hearts. Turn a nut straight draw. Then he's just going to bet 10k. Like, we're obviously going to call that. But then. Damn. Ace king. This is a tough spot. He had the full house from the beginning. Not what you wanted to see. It's alright though. We're going to pick up that hand. The ace 10 there. Yeah, we're not in the best spot again, but we'll come back. Then, yeah, we still got the freeze out monster stack. We're just kind of blinding out in that. Trying to make the money. Mostly focused on this. Yeah, I don't know what one is doing there, trying to limp in. Like, that's not going to work, bro. I wonder if I'll go with this. Yup. Can we get it? Yup. We're back again, boys. We have more chips again. 
apply pressure so hopefully this time someone don't flop a full house against us and then there were three but damn 17 he's getting hell lucky today Three-handed is when it's going to really start getting, like, every hand we're playing. Not 10-7. I can't believe that dude. Dude caught off with ace-5. You got to be paying attention to those kind of things, too, because, you know, now we know that he can call off as light as ace-5. Ace three, like what is he doing? Then there were two. I didn't even have to do anything. I'm probably go with this, right? Or at least call. I'm gonna flop absolutely nothing. Gotta celebrate. Right before I fold. Are we we are definitely not in the best position against this guy, but I mean, what can we do? 17 decided to punt off into him twice in a row. Not shit you can do there. Just going to keep playing my game. Can we tie that? Yeah, we'll tie. King 6. We want to call off with ASEX preferably. Or pairs. But pairs is obvious. There we go. It's a good one. Oh. GG. 283 plus the bounties. I got like 350. No, it was. I don't think it was quite that. It was definitely over 300, though, with the bounties. <laughs> but we still got this thing going. I mean, we still haven't made the money in this. Like, we have been playing this since the first second of part one. This tournament, hella long. And yeah, it's not looking good. Three minutes later, I go all in with pocket sixes. He calls off with queen nine, hits a queen, and I bubble. That's the end of the video, though. Make sure you check out my community page because I got all of these polls to help pick what I upload next. Also, like and subscribe so you don't miss what I upload next. I'm going to be uploading like crazy. I mean it. Lots of final table runs to come. Thank you. That is such a cooler.